Starter Pokemon are a big selling point of any Pokemon game, and for the first time in Pokemon Legends Arceus, Game Freak decided to shake up the starter Pokemon formula with the starters in this game. For starters, all of the starter Pokemon in this game originate from different generations, and on top of that, all of their final evolutions also received regional variant forms, two things that have never happened to starter Pokemon before and are a huge shakeup to the starter Pokemon formula. Overall, it was just a really refreshing shakeup, and it kind of got me thinking about what other new features and mechanics could be integrated with starter Pokemon in the future, which is what today's video is all about. Five new features slash mechanics that I personally would love to see integrated with starter Pokemon in future games. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up guys? It's Hoops from the Future here, just popping in really quick before we get started to provide a little disclaimer that obviously the Gen 9 starters were recently revealed kinda out of nowhere and that was after this video was already written and recorded, and while these things may or may not happen with the Gen 9 starters, they are still things that I would love to see happen in the future regardless, and who knows, maybe some of these things will actually happen with the Gen 9 starters. So without Without further ado, let's get back to the regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so this first one is one that I've actually been calling for for a pretty good amount of time now, and that would be Branched Evolution. I would love to see the starter Pokemon of some future Pokemon game receive branched evolutions so there was actually a choice involved when it came time to evolve your starter into its final form. I also think it is the perfect way to continue to shake up the starter Pokemon formula and provide something new and interesting without necessarily completely rewriting the concept either. In fact, it's something that also contributes to a big part of what starter Pokemon are as a whole, which is the element of choice. You obviously have to choose one of the three at the start of your adventure, and that choice is a big reason why the starter Pokemon are as memorable and beloved as they are, because once you choose yours, you just feel that much closer to it, because it's the one that you have chosen to adventure with. And I think bringing in a branched evolution for the final stage of a starter Pokemon would really bring that concept full circle, because you had to make a choice with their first forms when you started your adventure, and now that you're ready to evolve this Pokemon into its final last stage, you're also presented with another choice of two different forms that it could take. So while it is a shakeup, it also enforces a lot of those core starter Pokemon mechanics at the same time, and with two evolutions for each starter, I think that would also allow for a lot of flexibility in terms of typings or design in general, and would just really bring about a lot of creativity to these final forms. In fact, the final evolutions are something that a lot of people base their starter Pokemon decision on, because they want to make sure they end up with something cool, and I think throwing a branched evolution into that mix as a part of that choice would be really cool because it would just make that choice that much more intriguing and interesting, and it would also give you more options as a player as well, which would maybe allow you to use a starter Pokemon that you wouldn't have normally otherwise used. So all in all, I think this would be a perfect way to go for a future Pokemon game, because not only does it shake up the starter Pokemon formula in a fun way that also reinforces some of the core starter Pokemon elements, but at the same time, it also retains much of that traditional starter Pokemon experience. It really is the best of both worlds in terms of keeping what obviously works and is popular, but also being able to shake things up a little bit and try some something new. The next new feature that I would really like to see happen with starter Pokemon someday, which is also a classic when it comes to this topic of discussion, is starter Pokemon with new types. And by new types, I mean not the Grass, Fire, and Water trio, but some other kind of new type trio instead. 
Over the years, this has been a popular idea just because it sounds so interesting and cool, but the biggest argument against it is that there's no way they could do this because there's no other trio of types that are as perfectly balanced as grass, fire, and water are, because that's the whole reason why those were chosen as the starter types in the first place. And while that is a valid point, the more I think about it, the more I feel like that is becoming more and more irrelevant. Because the whole purpose of having balanced starter types really only has to do with the main story of the game. It really doesn't have much, if any, significance on the competitive side of things, and with that being the case, why are we even adhering to it at all? The only time it really has any significance within the story, which as we said is really the only thing it has any kind of significance on, is when it comes to battles with your rival and other companion characters. The rest of the game's trainers and their own types are probably affected a little bit by this too, but when it comes to the starters themselves and being balanced amongst themselves, the only time this has any kind of significance whatsoever is when you are battling against your rival characters, and even then, the advantage or disadvantage is already predetermined anyway, because your rival is always going to pick what is either strong or weak to your starter, regardless of which one you actually choose. So when you break it down like that, why are we not allowing this huge part of the game to be shaken up even a little bit after 25 plus years of it being exactly the same, when all of its significance is tied to four, maybe five battles within the main story of any given game? And this question becomes even more relevant when we notice that even the rivals of some of the more recent Pokemon games have started to shake things up themselves. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, you didn't really have a rival, but your counterpart, either Rei or Akari, didn't even use one of the other starter Pokemon, so the type triangle didn't even matter at that point. In Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, or even Pokemon Yellow for that matter, there was no kind of type triangle whatsoever with the starters in that game, and it obviously ended up working out just fine. And anything else in the games that is affected by the starter Pokemon types can obviously be adjusted accordingly if there were new types in place instead of Grass, Fire, and Water. I know that the grass, fire, and water starters are a kind of sacred tradition for Pokemon, and I'm not saying do away with them altogether, but I think at least for one game, given that the reasons why we have kept it around for so long are pretty much irrelevant at this point, I think the door is finally opening for this to actually happen for real in some kind of future Pokemon game, because the issue of balance isn't really an issue at all. It plays so little of a role in the game that it absolutely should not be holding starter Pokemon back from trying new things in terms of their types. I think there is so much untapped potential there, it's time to do something new with starter Pokemon in general, and because there's really no reason to keep it grass, fire, and water for the reasons I just stated, I think now or in the near future is definitely the time to do it, and I think it would be incredible. Another thing I think would be cool to do with starter Pokemon that has kind of been toyed with in the past is catching your own starter Pokemon. Either Pokemon that are in fact designated as starters, or just any Pokemon you choose to use as your own starter. As I mentioned, this has been done to a certain degree in Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, where Professor Oak catches your starter Pikachu and or Eevee for you, but that is a much more guided experience. I think it would be really cool if in some future Pokemon game, the Professor sends you out on your own into the first area or route of the game, and you get to find the starter Pokemon that you will eventually use yourself. 
I think this would be really cool to do with actual designated starter Pokemon, but also just for regular Pokemon too. Like, what if you don't necessarily want to start with a starter Pokemon and want to shake things up? I think having that option at least would be a really, really interesting thing to do because it would just give you that much more freedom and flexibility as a player to play the game how you want and to maybe try something different, but also would allow you to play the game traditionally Additionally, if you just wanted to use a standard starter. Similar to the starter types, being gifted a starter at the beginning of the game by the Professor character is one of the tried and true and beloved features of Pokemon as a series, but it's also one that hasn't changed in over 25 years. So I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world if, at least for one game, things were shaken up a little bit and maybe you actually got to go out and catch a starter Pokemon on your own. Once again, similar to the second point about starters of new types, another thing I would like to see in future Pokemon games with future starter Pokemon is all of the types being represented in a starter Pokemon in some way. Whether that's with giving new types to the starter Pokemon altogether like we previously discussed, or simply giving them some secondary types that haven't been given to starter Pokemon before, I think it would be really cool to see starter Pokemon with some of these types that they've never had. I mean, wouldn't it be cool to see a starter Pokemon someday that was part bug type, or maybe part normal type, or electric type, or even dragon, I think some of these types would give a really cool new, fresh look to starter Pokemon that we've literally never seen before. And while some of them, like dragon type, are harder to integrate than others for their competitive prowess or lack thereof, I think all types should at least have a crack at becoming a starter Pokemon type, even if it is just a secondary type at some point. Because once again, I think this would be the perfect way to kind of shake things up a little bit, make things interesting, make them different to what we've come to expect, and overall just give the whole concept a kind of a refresh that would really breathe some new life into the starter Pokemon formula. I don't think that would ever be a bad idea, and so it's something I would like to see someday. One more final thing that I would really like to see happen with starter Pokemon at some point, and frankly I think this one is almost a must, is to have a game where the starter Pokemon is important and even central to the game's plot. For as important as starter Pokemon are to each of their own individual games, they aren't ever really that important to the story of the game itself, other than being one of the signature Pokemon of you as the protagonist. And just like all of the other points on this list, I think there is a lot of untapped potential in this department, because I think some really cool stories could be written for future Pokemon games where the player character's starter Pokemon is the central figure of the game's story. I would imagine something similar to Pokemon Sun and Moon, which has one of the best stories in Pokemon, I might add, with Lily and Cosmog's whole situation. Except Cosmog would be your Pokemon, and it would also be your starter Pokemon. I just think it's kind of surprising that at this point with how beloved and important starter Pokemon are, that they haven't really been a factor within any story of any main series Pokemon game to this point. The closest we have ever gotten with this would be in Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but the connections between those games' starter Pokemon and the actual story are superficial at best because the story of those games aren't exactly narrative-driven. So one day, I would just really like to see a Pokemon game with a proper story that has your starter Pokemon at the center of it. So those were five new features and mechanics that I would love to see happen with starter Pokemon in future games. What do you guys think of my suggestions though? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to leave the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new for more Pokemon content. If you'd like to support the channel further, you can also check out my Pokemon remixes on Spotify as well as other streaming services because listening in any one of those places 
greatly helps out the channel right back here and allows me to make videos like this one for you guys. So be sure to check that out if you're able to, and if you're already listening, thank you so much. With that said, I will be back with another video very soon, and until then, as always, thank you guys for watching this one, I love you very much, and I will smell you guys later.